YouTube, Chippewa Pastor here. Uh, good to be back with you. This morning we have a review of another Skylar ESV Bible. Uh, this one is the uh, Skylar ESV Quintel Red Over Black Goatskin Edition. I'll, I'll leave the link. I purchased it on the um, Evangelical Bible. I'll leave a I'll leave a um, link down below. Uh, but this is. Um, I bought this one specific for the purpose of preaching, pr primarily because I wanted uh, the thicker paper, the 36 GSM, and I'll get to that later in a minute. But this is, if you've had a Skylar product before, they, they are absolutely stunning. Uh, the the cover is second to none. Uh, in my estimation, I know I'll probably receive a little bit of grief in this, uh, but second to none. I, I actually prefer them over Allen. Uh, even though I, I love all things British and I, and I have a heart and the historian inside of me loves Alan. But actually, I think the, the Schuyler version, the Schuyler binding is just a quality. And I think right now it's better than Alan. Uh, this particular one, red over gold or red over black, is phenomenal. It um, The goat skin is smooth. It's floppy, which I love. Um the little details are here that you would expect uh, it, with a Skylar product. The, the the Smith stitching on the on the on the perimeter is beautiful. And what I love is, like in this first panel, the the black stitching matches, and the red panel it matches here. If you can see very closely, that red and there's the black. The only part that it contrasts is right here. That's the only contrasting part, which I actually find quite attractive. I I, I love it. Um, I like the fact that it didn't go contrasting thread here. It, it's a subtle Bible. You see, you see the gold uh, lettering. You see the raised ribs. This is just a quality, quality Bible. Uh, the beautiful red uh, liner. Normally, I'm not big on on a red liner Bible, but they did an amazing, amazing job on this goatskin. See the three uh, Beresford uh, ribbons. Um, they they just did a quality job. Uh, the, the Quintel text is, to me, uh, other than a single column text, to me, this Quintel version is as readable as anything as I've ever seen, and, and I prefer it. I, I actually have uh, the Quintel both in the 36 uh, GSM format, and, and again, I bought that specific for preaching. I also have it in the 28 regular and, the, and again, in the uh, PSQ. But this uh, layout is phenomenal. It's it's readable. It's study the, the the use of red, while subtle, is also tastefully done, carried out in a way uh, that helps the reader rather than becomes a distraction to the reader. So uh, this squ this quintile layout to me is is just second to none. Um, the the one thing I would say that Skyler needs to do, and they need to learn this from Alan. Um, one in the back, they give you seven blank pages. Um, one that, that's just not enough, but two, go ahead and line them. Um, for someone like me, if, if I'm going to write in my Bible, which I do, I, I don't, I'm a lefty. So my, my writing naturally goes just from, uh, left to upper right. I need the help. So just throw some line paper in here and do more than seven. The, the seven's just, so what seven says is um, it's it's not enough and it needs more. Um, maps, I'm not a huge map guy. Uh, you know, I've been in the ministry for 20 years. And so if I'm going to utilize a map, I'm going to go ahead and, and just go to a computer program if I need one. Um but maps, for the most part, are generally all the same. They're identical. So uh, the paper is actually a high-quality paper. I like this. I, I hate cardstock. And so this, to me, is a great paper. Um, but I, I think in this um, Schuyler Quintel uh, Bible, the thing that we need to note is its size. So first off, let me just give a comparison. So one of the benefits of getting Schuyler Bibles is that you are getting the same layout when you get the Quintel. So here it is in the 36 rendition, right? As you can see, same page, 1229. You come over here to the 28 GSM, same page, same, same layout. And here you come to the PSQ, same page, same layout. 
So if you're like me, I memorize things by where they are on a page. Um, so it's useful to me to carry the, the PSQ when I go to university and teach, um, at home when I do devotions, uh, and then when I preach. So I memorize things where they're out on the page. So having three Bible, uh, three quintels is very helpful to me. Um, let me tell you the reason why I went ahead and purchased uh, a third quintel. Um, I was preaching out of the 28 GSM, the regular quintel version, and I live in Southern California, and there's not a whole lot of humidity here, but here's what I noticed. Every time I preach, the there was just enough humidity to create page curl. So what it told me that is that while I love the 28 paper, and, and I'll do a contrast here on the, thin, uh, the thickness of it in just a minute, while I love this this paper, I love the quality of it, I love the feel of it. What it tells me is that every time I'm gonna open up a, a page in this particular Bible and have it open for a while, I'm gonna get page curl, which to me drives me nuts. Um, and so one of the things I wanted, I bought this one specifically for preaching, hoping that there, the, the just a little bit thicker paper isn't gonna create a page curl. Um, the other thing I do is that when I preach and I use cross-references, I use these sticky tabs off to the side, and when I use them on the thinner paper, sometimes it left a little crinkly residue, whereas when I do it on the 36 paper, it's just thick enough that there's no, uh, it doesn't damage the paper in any way, shape, or form. But let me, let me go to the size for you, because if you're going to go to this 36, which this is, um, you need to know that the distinction in size versus the, the 28 paper. And so there's the difference. Um, it, it doesn't look like a lot, but, but it's, but it actually is. Uh, this regular Quintel with a, with a 28 paper is, uh, just a little bit bigger than an Omega, which to me is, is thin. Uh, so if you are going to graduate up to the 36 GSM paper, you need to know the thickness. It is a lot thicker Bible than uh, the regular one. Um, and definitely, uh, it's almost as thick as, uh, or it's still thicker than the PSQ, as you can see there. Um, the other thing that you need to know is that when I got used to preaching from the, um, the the floppiness there on the 26. The binding is just nice and floppy. It is not as floppy in the 36. It's just it's just a thicker, stouter binding. And while it's floppy, it's not as floppy. Um, so overall, I would give this for my purpose. And again, I'm using it specifically for preaching. For my purpose, this thing accomplishes everything I want except two issues. One, I would love Skylar to come out with an ESV uh, single column reference. Uh, that would be my preference. And two, if you're going to do the pages in the back, give me more than seven and go ahead and line them. Fall, take a page after Alan here and g give me 32 pages of lined note paper so that I can actually use them and line it so that when I write, it's not a, a giant catastrophe. Other than that, this Bible is an A+. Uh, again, I bought it for Evangelical Bible. Uh, I'll leave a link or a description uh, down below. But if you are looking for the 36, know that it's thicker, but the paper is better. I, I, as much as I love the, the 28 GSM, which I do, this one is even better. But you got to know the bulkiness. It is bulky. Um, but for my purpose, it's absolutely perfect. Anyway, hope that helps you. Uh, any comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have that I might be able to answer. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. <laughs>